Lonnie and Twyla Money are quite a team. Lonnie, a longtime farmer, whittled in his spare time and never really thought much about his animal carvings. But other folks did begin to notice. Now Lonnie has converted his one-time milking barn into a studio, while Twyla paints and adds her designs to the work. Let's take a look. I've always had a desire to be creative, to do things. Uh, even when I was a little boy at home, I'd think about, you know, making stuff. And I remember my dad, when I was, I don't know, I was about six years old, he bought me a pocket knife for, for uh, my birthday. And I've always been, you know, enthused about, with knives and just be creative, you know. And then later on, I was, with my uncle and he sat down, he whittles out this pistol out of an old uh, shingle. And I thought that was the greatest thing ever was, you know, to be able to make something. And since that time, I've been pretty much <laughs> hooked, I guess you could say. And in later years, more or less driven. I've pretty much, uh, when, you know, probably for the last, well, 25 years now, this is pretty much all we've done. Never had no interest in painting. Never took a class in school when I was in school. And one day he came in and he said, this is more than I can do, you're gonna have to help me out. So I took and sat down at the kitchen table, picked up a paintbrush and some paint. And as you can see, I'm a collector of paint. Can and paint. I have so many cans, but, and just took off painting. Been painting for 20, almost 24 years now. farm for years, uh, but it's always been in the background, and it seemed like I can get a, just a glimmer of something in my mind, and it'll take hold, and then it won't let go till I have to do it. I have to, I have to complete it or either start it. Sometimes I start and don't complete, but most of the time I'll come up with something, you know, and so it's, it's kind of been that way, you know, my whole life. Leave all the troubles outside and come in here and get a piece and go to work and next thing you know, I've spent more time here than I realize. The only thing, it works on your back and shoulders. But uh, yeah, it's real good therapy. I've been doing it my whole life, really. When I was just a boy, I always wanted, you know, and had a desire to carve. And I didn't really realize at that time, you know, what made it, actually. But uh, later on, my grandmother told me that uh, my great-grandfather, he was a, a wood carver over in Switzerland. And she, she showed me some work that he'd done. And I guess, you know, it's kind of... Uh, Inherited from him. Well, I guess they just kind of come out of my head that I'm in, you know, inspired, or I guess, or uh, my environment. It's what I've been around my whole life. Uh, I pretty much want to do things that I'm familiar with. Uh, I farmed for years and had cattle and was around, you know, chickens when I was a little boy and just farm animals and things like that. And things I've seen, uh, like the fox. I, I do a fox with a chicken in its mouth and I was driving down the road. My neighbor had a bunch of 
quite, just big white hens, and they kept disappearing. He wanted to know where his chickens was going, and I seen this big red fox going up the hill with a big white chicken in his mouth. It pulled over its back, so I, I made carve me a, a fox and put a chicken in his mouth, and things like that. So I guess I'm just, in, you know, inspired by my environment, things around me. I've had a lot of comments and about how I do it and uh, the style I do and the colors, the brightness is what uh, a lot of people talk about my work, uh, the bright colors I use and how it brightens up their shops and, and it just puts a smile on people's face. That's a big compliment. What I love most about Lonnie is uh, he's a kind, gentle person, he's ambitious, uh, he keeps me motivated. What I, satisfaction I get is in doing it, okay? It's not necessarily in making a real showpiece or it's in the work that I, in my hands, you know, and what I do is, is where, where I, what I love to do.